Hey guys, uh, here, let me turn it off. Okay. okay, so, um, today I told you guys in my last video that I was going to be back in a couple minutes, but then I had dinner and took a shower and brushed my teeth and all that stuff. I just missed, I just said junk and stuff together, so all that stuff. And sorry, my I didn't brush my hair yet because it was dry, towel drying and now it's air drying. But um, I'm gonna right now. I'm gonna do a video with my favorite like makeup, and I have two in a category that one of them is one of my favorites. The other one's not my favorite, but it has a really cute bottle. So we're gonna start with those, and then we're gonna go into the other stuff. Um, okay. Okay. So this is my fav. Like this isn't a favorite. But it has a really cute bottle. It's a good lip gloss. Like, it's really good. But it's not my favorite. I have other favorite lip glosses and stuff. But, yeah. Anyway, but it's so cute. Look at this. You have a little heart thing, kind of. And you twist it open. And it's the same lip gloss. Just, you have a little applicator. And then this one, this side's the regular lip gloss, and then you just have this tube thing. Thing about this, this is my Starry, Starry Cosmetics Crystal Lip Gloss. It's really cute, right? I love playing with this. Anyway, so let's go to the next thing. Um, that could go on top of my shiny calculator. Okay, this has really cute packaging, and it's one of my favorites. This, here, looks like that. Isn't that adorable? It has the little bow, and then it's such a cute color. So cute. I'm going to wear this tomorrow when I go to school. Um, this is the Fran Wilson um, Designer Collection. And this just says number three. Someone bought this for me, so I don't know who, like, what color it is. It just says number three on it. But I got it for Christmas from my aunt. And then she gave me, like, a whole makeup bag full of, like, lipsticks and stuff. And then since we're doing that, we'll go to my other lipstick that she got me. And it really depends on the light. It looks a little brown in the camera, but, like, in this lighting, it looks green. But then when I normally see it, it looks black. But now that I see it now, I think it's a green. But I'm not too sure what the case color looks like. It looks like a bunch of weird things to other people. See, now it looks black. And then, up close, it looks a little more brown in the camera. Anyway, um, again, some, she bought this for me. I do know the it says, um, three, Easy Color Lipstick. Um, Sarah St. James. Sorry, I'm kind of spelling out the middle part. Um, and it's color 32, and it's cherry. But it's cute, because it's like a red, but not like too dark. It's, it's a cute color. The case is going to annoy me, though. See, now it looks black to me. But now it looks like Hunter Green. Anyway. Let's get those out of the way. Oh, sorry, my back hurts. I'm in my little robe, not robe, like jumper comfy clothes before I put on my pajamas later and go to bed after this. After I make another one, if I can't fit my other stuff in this video, and it's already been four minutes, so I must be blabbing a lot, because we only went through three products, so that's a little strange, and we're not even done with lips yet, so we're going to do those quickly. Okay, I must really be blabbing, blabbing, blabbing. I always drop this G on stuff, like sit in, I always say that, it sounds like you're sitting in what? Nothing, I'm sitting. Anyway, sorry, I'm blabbing again. This is my e.l.f. Luscious Liquid Lipstick. That's a good one. I love it. This one is in Baby Lips. So cute. Really light and really pretty. Okay. Oh, sorry, my back. Needs someone to crack it. 
This one is, here, we'll just get the e.l.f. ones over with. This is the e.l.f. Plumping Lip Glaze. And so, this side, it's like the plumper thing, and this side's the lip glaze thing, I guess. I don't know. I don't really need my lips to be fatter. They're pretty. Ugh. Well, I just like my finger. It's a good thing I'm clean. But, like, they're big. Everyone tells me I have huge lips. But anyway, I don't really need this, but it feels so good. Like, it takes away all the dry skin more than it... It doesn't... I don't notice a difference in the, like, texture, except for the fact that it's less dry. And, like, the size. Like, they don't look big, right? Not too big. My tooth looks weird, though. Huh. Sorry, I'm still blabbing. I now I have an itch on my ear. Anyway, it really just takes away a lot of dry skin. And this one is in Wink Pink. So that's this color. Other side's just clear. Okay, now my Mary Kay lip gloss. This is Nourish Shine Lip Gloss. Brilliant pour. I can't read that. That's in Spanish. And I just took Spanish. And I can tell you, I can't do that. I can't do Spanish. I can't do algebra. I just went into eighth grade um, yesterday and I can't do these classes like it is stressing me out I can't do them it's so hard like oh my god it's just really stressful now my legs shaking anyway this is my Mary Kay lip gloss I don't know this says it's in starry yeah starry s t a r r y but it's cute. It's really just shiny. It doesn't give any color, so you have to wear a color under it. But it's really pretty. Shiny. I wear it alone sometimes with just, like, chapstick under. This is my LA Colors um, Moisturizing Lip Gloss. And I have this one in Blazing Violet. The thing about this is I thought I was getting a pretty purple. But, um... Like, the swatches, I'm like, oh, I need a purple lip gloss. I think that'd be really cool, because I wear a lot of purple eyeshadow. I love it. And we're going to get to my purple eyeshadow palettes in a minute. They're on top of my history book and shiny calculator and stuff like that. Schedule, whatever. Um, anyway, I'm in my small room, so. Oh, look, my mom changed my painting. I don't know if you notice that, because I normally don't sit this way to film, but see? There used to be another two of those flowers, one in blue and one in red. Now there's only the red, and now there's a blue lady that she got in Cuba. <coughs> Sorry. Anyway, um, so when they, like, when you have the swatches, like, at the store, you, I saw, this was just at a drugstore, but they still had the little swatch, and I saw it, it was this really cute, like, light, light purple but when it's on your lips it just look I can't even describe it it's like a pink but it still has a little of purplish feel and I'm not going to put anything on right now because I'm going to go to bed soon and this stays on pretty well so sorry my back still hurts I'm sitting on my bed it's the only place I could sit in my room it's tiny and I didn't make my bed this morning it has stuff on it. I just pulled the blanket up. But I probably shouldn't tell you guys that. That way you don't think I'm gross and like not neat. I am neat. I just don't make my bed. I probably said that before. I say that a lot. Anyway, now we're going to get to our face products. And we're going to start with the Makeup remover. This is Maybelline New York Expert Eyes. I'm going to try to go a little faster through this and stop blabbing, and I'll blab in other videos, because I like to blab. Anyway, no, I just took off a lot of... This is, um, it takes off waterproof eye makeup, and it's really good. It's just a Maybelline New York Expert Eyes Moisturizing Eye Makeup Remover. That's it. And then, this is my Govi USA Foundation Cream, Soft Finish Makeup, SPS 20, Anti-Aging. I don't want to age, but... Not a good foundation, no. But I use it as concealer and it's really good. It's not perfect, but it's really good. I thought I'd say that 
Um, it's like it's not really my favorite. I just put it in this video because, like, if you get it, don't use it as foundation. Use it as a concealer. Anyway, now we're gonna get to my Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizing SPF 20 Base Hydrant. I can't say that. That's in Spanish too. It's in um t nude. And it's really good. I wear this a lot. I don't really use foundation that much. Some, well, I wear it sometimes, not all the time, but I use that so much more. Anyway, now we're going to get to our blush, and you've seen this in other videos. And this is the True Cheeks um, number four blush, and it's from CoverGirl. It's really cute. It has three little blushes. You've seen it in other videos, but so I'm not going to open it because I want to rush through this. Okay, what are we on? We're going to be on eyes now. Okay, we'll do eyeshadows last. We're going to start with this stuff. Oh, wait, I forgot to do one thing in lips, which would be my lip liner, which I had next to my eyeliner, so I kind of forgot about it. So I'm going to try to grab all my stuff at once. Once. Okay, we're going to rush because there might be a second part to this video. I'm not too sure, but there probably will be. And, okay, anyway, besides that, we're going to rush. Um, For my lips that I forgot to say is the Lip Liner Crayon from, um, what's it called? Uh, Color Workshop. This is my Color Workshop um, crayon, lip liner. And I really like this. I have bigger ones, too, but I just took that one out because... The big one's the same color, and then I have a couple other colors, but that's... Anyway, you know what I mean. That's my favorite. Anyway, this is the Maybelline New York Defined Line. Hi, Soph. I'm talking fast because I have a limited minute. Um, my sister just walked in. This is Maybelline New York Defined Line and Ebony Black Nor uh, Eyeliner. It's crayon eyeliner, okay? Cute. I love it. It goes on so well and easily. Okay. This is the Maybelline New York Full In. Oh, look, that's how I talk. The Full In with an N. See, the Fulling N. Full N. Not N. I don't. Anyway, okay, that's the Full In Soft Waterproof Mascara uh, from Maybelline New York in black. It's cute. And then I have my e.l.f. Liquid Eyelid Primer, and I have this in. I want to say pearl. Yeah, pearl. I can't read it. It's small print, but I think it's. Yeah, it's pearl. Sorry. You've probably seen this in other videos, too. If not, I'd recommend go watch other videos because I am not going to explain these products that much. And I'm just holding eyeliner brush. My Maybelline um, New York Eye Studio. And this is just my blackest black. Um, what's it called? What's it called? What's it called? <gasps> Gel eyeliner. Okay. Um, and then this is my Maybelline New York um, line. Stiletto, and this is just liquid eyeliner in black. Sorry, I'm forgetting words because I'm trying to talk. Like, oh my god, I only have two minutes, so I'm not going to explain anything. This is the Volumizing and Shocking L'Oreal Paris um, Step 1 and Step 2 Mascara. And then now we're going to go to... Um, Eyeshadows. Okay, my e.l.f. color palette thing. This is so good, too. I will, I explained that in other videos, so you know that. This, I don't know who it's by. It's from Country Colors or something. Or something like that. That's what it says. Anyway, it's my purple palette. As I said, I love purple. Um, <coughs> okay, I only have a minute, so I'm going to rush. Okay, and then this is my little trio for browns from All May Intense Eye Co Color. And then this is my LA Color Shimmer Shimmering Loose Eyeshadow in gold. And then this, and then the rest, oh my god, I'm going to finish. Kabuki Brush, I got this at TJ Maxx, I don't know who it is, but it's so good. And then my e.l.f. Daily Brush Cleanser, cleaner, I mean. Okay, thank you guys for watching. I will be back in a couple minutes. And, ow, I'm hurting myself, but I have to go. I love y'all. And um, just keep watching, okay? Bye.